With the Perth market in recovery and rental properties now offering some of the best returns in years, there are some great opportunities for investors out there. And after a number of questions from our followers, we duck into the latest Rewa data to find the top 10 suburbs for landlords in Perth. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to our Just Ask Tim video series where you can get all your questions answered on anything finance, real estate, investment related and more. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So firstly, what makes a good investment property for a landlord? Well, there are a lot of factors which contribute to making a good investment property. However, two of the most important to consider are the yield and time to rent. Yield is the rental return you receive from a property as compared to the market value of that property. The higher the yield, the more money you receive for every dollar invested. The days to rent refers to the number of days a property will be vacant before finding a new tenant. The lower the days to rent, the higher that suburb is in demand for tenants. Maximise your yields and reduce the days to rent and you are maximising the return on that investment property. Now with rents in Perth dropping 20% off their peak over the past few years, the Perth market is currently averaging a 3.8% yield and 28 days to rent. But the question is, is, can you double the rent and half the vacancies? Well, almost. So introducing the Perth suburb of Medina. In the 12 months to December 2019, it took approximately 17 days for a property to lease in Medina, which is well below the Perth average of 28 days, and demonstrate the, suburbs is, the suburb is in high demand by tenants. Also, with a yield of 7.5%, Medina is producing rent at twice the rate of an equally pr priced home elsewhere in Perth. Now of these top 10 suburbs, eight of them are located south of the river with Armidale and Palmelia following close behind Medina. Now Damien Collins, president of Rewa, said it took 14 days on average to lease a property in Palmelia, which had a rental yield of 5.6%. Armidale had a higher yield at 6.2%, however it took 27 days on average to lease. Now rounding out the top six is Seville Grove, Port Kenny and Banksia Grove, which all had a rental yield of 5.6%, with days to rent being 20, 27 and 25 respectively. Maddington, Meadow Springs, Forestfield and Clarkson finish out the top 10, all producing yields above 5% and with the days to rent less than the metropolitan average. Now Mr Collins said, while these suburbs in the top 10 list are not rated by their lifestyle, popularity or future growth, they have faster leasing times and high rental yield, which is important to investors. With Perth currently the most affordable capital city in Australia and the vacancy rate at a low of 2.3%, now is the ideal opportunity for investors to get back into the Perth property market. So guys, that's it from me today. Remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Also, if you wanna submit a question or there is a topic you would like me to discuss in more details for our Just Ask Tim video series, there's a link in the post to do that. Stay tuned early next week for The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Apart from that, guys, have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. See ya.